Hi. Um, today I will talk about Ubuntu wellness. Let's see what I mean. Uh, oh, sorry. Use Linux and be happy. Um, despite all, this is the the subtitle. Oh, I think it, it's only for recording. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, I hope uh, it goes well. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the subtitle of my presentation. So um, at the end of the presentation, we'll know why. Okay. Uh, let's, let's introduce me. Um, I'm Dario Cavedo. I come from Italy. Um, this is a picture from my home in the spring, uh, the winter time. And this is my office. I don't do Ubuntu for, my, for work. Uh, I I work for a big bank in Italy, but it's not uh, this kind of work. Uh, um, usually, take a um, trip to mountains uh, in the summer, the winter too. And since uh, 2016, I started running. Uh, it's a journey, and so uh, my talk uh, is about my journey. It's not. Um, uh, kind of lesson, it's only a kind of journey. And I will say that after. Um, this is my community, it's uh, Ubuntu Italy. Uh, it's a photo from a uh, few years ago. And uh, uh, let's uh, start from the beginning, from what I started from. Um, the community grows. Uh, and when I say grows, it's in that kind of grows. Eh? Okay. This is a tweet uh, um, from a few years ago. Uh, you probably know it. it's still there. If you look for it in Twitter, you will find it. And uh, as you see, you can, uh, well, you can see that uh, the size of the t shirts sold in various Linux events. Uh, are growing, uh, not by numbers, but by size. Uh, when I saw that tweet, uh, I was uh, thinking about, oh, what's this happening? Uh, what's the matter? And this is the first hypothesis, <laughs> Linux causes obesity. <laughs> Why not? Or obesity causes Linux. Uh. <laughs> Why not? Uh, people are growing using Linux, and, and so when you, they use Linux, uh, cause obesity. Well, I don't know, but maybe this kind of... Oh, thank you. Oh, we are getting older, okay? This could be. Uh, Italian community is getting older. We have uh, only few uh, young members in our community and so we are getting older, we are getting uh, larger too. <laughs> so, uh, back in 2015, I started a, a Coder Dojo. Do you know uh, what a Coder Dojo is? Eh? No? Have you ever heard about Coder Dojo? Coder Dojo is a dojo for coders. It's a, a sort of dojo for uh, training uh, for young coders. So. Uh, we started with kids uh, from 7 years old to 10 years old and we use uh, Scratch, uh, that's a kind of game and you can use it for uh, constructing games. Okay, it's very nice. Uh, kids are very happy when they uh, code with Scratch. <coughs> These are various uh, lessons we heard with we had uh, the past few years, okay? Or, matter of evolution, we are getting older, but we are getting lazy too. This is the second cause uh, why we are getting larger, isn't it? And this is why daily hours spent with digital media per adult user is getting, uh, is growing each year and uh, as you said, uh, we pass on our mobiles uh, more and more time of our lives. And that 
green size, the green zone of your time is time we are stealing from other types of activities, isn't it? Yeah, maybe it's TV, maybe it's instead of watching TVs, but maybe it's uh, uh, have uh, a mm, sort of uh, mm, activities, uh, physical activity, I mean. And so, but we are not, uh, 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 this is the evolution of the men, but or and the women too, but it is not uh, what uh, we are um, building for, builded for, because uh, baby we are both to run. Um, last uh, two millions of years, uh, uh, when we were, were a kind of ape, uh, uh, and now uh, we um, we running in the jungle or, or in Africa, whatever. And our uh, daily uh, was spent uh, trying to catch uh, some, uh, some kind of food, uh, okay? At that time, uh, it didn't come on the plate, uh, but you have to run if you want to catch the food, uh, okay? And so most of our days, uh, longer days before, was spent uh, catching food, uh, catching animals, okay? And so it's grow, it's, it's written in our DNA. It's some kind uh, that we are, um, we are uh, growing with, okay? And so that's my story. Uh, three years ago, my wife had a um, bad period. So I sta he sh she started running. Uh, and so I tried to start to run in me too, because uh, if I won't catch her, <laughs> I have to, to run. And so I tried this kind of test. Uh, have you ever yeah. heard uh, about it? Uh, diamond test. Uh, it's a pretty funny test. Uh, it's it. Uh, Run 10 kilometers in one hour. Okay? It's okay? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's tough, yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> we can. Yeah. <laughs> challenging, no. It's challenging, yeah. Why not? So, um, August 2016, I tried this test. This is BP4, okay, the man with the green t-shirt, and this is me after. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. What are you? I'm, 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 I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only one that doesn't smile. <laughs> How much time? Okay, um, I, I made this kind of test uh, on our, during a our race uh, at my hometown. It was only eight kilometers, uh, uh, but uh, uh, without any kind of training, uh, I reached the end uh, uh, after, uh, I think, uh, 56 minutes uh, in eight, eight kilometers. I was the last man of the race. After me, there was the police with the, <laughs> <laughs> the, with the lamps uh, and me. <laughs> I was the only one that wasn't training, uh, trained um, that much. I was trained at all. And so I have to uh, start again from the beginning and do the right thing. Not that kind of thing, but do what a rookie runner should do. A beginner should visit to the doctor because only the doctor, your doctor, knows if you can run or not, because uh, you may have uh, some kind of physical problem or sh issue of some kind of um, physical matter that uh, advise you not to run. Then you have to visit uh, the sports shop, because uh, uh, you only need one thing to run, and it's uh, your shoes, the right pair of shoes. because. Uh, there are three or four kind of, of shoes you 
can wear and you have to choose the right one what uh, are for you. Mm? But uh, if you are a nerd, you have to visit the other shop uh, that is the software center. Maybe there you can find something that uh, you can use for your runs. Mm? I found uh, one that's good for me and this is Activity Tracer of, of Ubuntu Touch. I have uh, um, concern about my privacy and so uh, everything you uh, use uh, from Android, uh, Play Store or iOS Store tracks you. In a way or another keeps your data uh, somewhere for I don't know what kind of reason. And so I have to uh, use an alternative program that not track you. Okay. One of them is Activity Trace. It's very good. Um, the only thing is you have to wear your phone. So, uh, okay, these are the screenshots of the Activity Tracker. Uh, this is my Meizu with uh, Ubuntu Touch and Activity Train, Activity Tracker, sorry, uh, runs on it. And you have to put on your hard band and run with it, okay? Um, it's quite good, it tracks you. It lets you the second step uh, and use uh, a program to um, catch the data and put on your desktop. And this is the Tartar Sport. Tartar Sport is a French program that uh, lets you to upload data uh, activity data from your smartphone or from your uh, smartwatch, why not? And uh, let you to record all your runs and uh, keep uh, some kind of statistics, uh, velocity, pace, and so on. Okay, you can see here uh, on the bottom, you can see my pace. Uh, Okay, how many uh, kilometers per minute uh, or other kind of statistics. The good of it uh, is that I uh, use uh, uh, OpenStreetMap for the map and uh, don't need any internet connection. So you can use it offline without any problem. This don't track you. When you reach that kind of, uh, uh, after one year, I saw the be some kind of improvement in my wealth, and uh, I tried to go further, okay? And so I started seeing a sort of gravitational formula. <laughs> it's a gravitational formula, it's not uh, uh, from some scientists, uh, but uh, is the BMA. BMA is uh, your body max index. Uh, uh, have you ever seen? Okay. And this is what? So if you cross uh, your weight uh, with your height and see where uh, uh, you are, you can um, more or less uh, know, you can know uh, if you are in shape or not. Okay. Uh, if you go, you are going on the right, uh, on the red zone, you are probably overweight. Uh, uh, maybe you have some kind of problem. Even if you are going too much to the left, uh, you are underweight, uh, and this is another kind of problem um, for your bones, for your muscles too. So you have to be in the middle, on the green, or maybe two on the yellow zone, it depends on who you are because uh, uh, some kind of people has much more muscles than others. So probably Arnold Schwarzenegger is in the yellow zone. I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I'm in the green zone. Uh, uh, this is why, mm, this is what uh, <laughs> um, I recall from why we are there because of 
our ancestors. And this is my, uh, why we are in the red zone. Um, the uh, gray uh, area is what uh, you should um, uh, eat uh, as calories uh, every day. But we eat too much. And so sometimes, uh, OK, people that makes a sedentary life, uh, you see, burn much more calories than what uh, he eats. And so moderate. Uh, active people, <laughs> people <laughs> usually <laughs> eat, um, eat what is right. But this is a medium. A medium. And another kind of interesting thing uh, is that you don't need um, the same amount of calories uh, or, or along your life. Uh, when you're getting older, uh, you don't need uh, the same amount of calories than when you were 20 or 10. Okay? And so this is for male, for, for female is similar. But as you see, uh, probably we eat too much. So when you run, you start control uh, what you eat too. Okay? And this is what the uh, open foods factor can help uh, because uh, you can see mm, some kind of foods, uh, many kind of foods, uh, and see how many calories uh, have uh, every different ca um, food. And so if you put, if you only put uh, on a um, uh, on a worksheet, uh, okay, what you eat uh, every day, you can try it for a week or two. Put on a worksheet uh, what you have uh, uh, eaten that day, okay. And if you see at the end of the day, probably you have eaten much more than what you. Uh, you should do, okay? It's, uh, it's very interesting. And our, our body is built to um, uh, store every calorie that you don't burn. So if you today burn uh, 2,000 calories, uh, okay, but you eat uh, 3,000 calories, uh, that uh, exceeds uh, uh, is stored in your body uh, in the form of fat, simply. Okay. So if you have a, a day that you burn more, eat more. If you have a sedentary day, eat less. It works. And this is what about my journey. In 2016, I was there in the yellow zone almost in the green, now in the green zone. But if you think about uh, Eliud Kikkoji or uh, athletes, marathoners, are on the bottom size of the green zone. They have uh, less than 2% of fat mass on their bodies. 2% is nothing. Okay. It's I think uh, you can have less. This work, this is this kind of training, this kind of life works. The, on Instagram, there are uh, uh, many successful stories uh, about transformation. There is a hashtag called Transformation Tuesday. On Tuesday, people uh, show their uh, photos of years before and now. And as you see, this kind of work. Base. Okay. This is one I saw on the internet, I put it. But there are a lot, there are tons of photos like that. Okay. So, why this photo? Because uh, life, is ride. life is like riding a bike. Okay. If you, if you want to go or if you want to go, I don't remember the exact phrase, but you have to keep moving, okay? And now I joined your dinner. 
Okay, if you have any question, uh, I, don't, I don't want to teach uh, anybody anything, but I only want to um, tell my story, and so maybe it's for inspiration for one of you, mm? or two. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, now, how long do you take to, to, oh, my to, uh, to do a 10K? My PB is uh, uh, mm. 43 minutes. That's great. No, it's not great. It is. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it's great for me. The first uh, one I ran, 10 kilometers, I did it in uh, one hour and one minute. Okay, now 20 minutes less. But it's not uh, such a good pace, uh, it's not a such a good time. Uh, people at my ages but that run uh, from 10, 12 years ago, uh, they have a personal best of 33, 35 minutes. Uh, it's, a, it's a pace, uh, it's 3 minutes and 50 per kilometer. Yes, but how long have, be have they been training? Yeah, you know, maybe I it's mean a lifetime. Eliud, Eliud Kipchoge just ran the, the marathon yeah. in under two <laughs> hours with uh, two forty nine, uh, two minutes forty nine seconds per kilometer, yeah. uh, around that time. So you know, it's uh, how long have you been training since twenty sixteen, right? Three, uh, yeah, three only years. Only so forty six minutes is great. Don't don't uh, push yeah. yourself no, down. Okay, <laughs> uh, the best thing in running is. Uh, the fact uh, that you can't run against uh, others. I, I don't uh, run against uh, Kip Koji or what else, because uh, I run against myself, against, again, my, uh, against uh, my yesterday myself, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, and it's a family too, because other runners uh, uh, try to motivate you and it's, um, it's very, very, um, very motivating, very inspiring. See other runners and uh, see how they do and uh, try to imitate them. Uh, but not because I want to beat him, but I want to become like him. So it's very good. And uh, have you had success inspiring people to use uh, open <laughs> software? <laughs> Uh, open software, non-tracking non -tracking software. Uh, this is very, very uh, little. Because you have to do the hard work and then la download the data to your computer and analyze it yourself. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, privacy is a concern of few people. They don't understand. They don't understand. It's not a matter of privacy. It's a matter of power. And so. Uh, many of them don't consider that their data can be used uh, uh, without uh, their permission or uh, against them too. Oh, this is a uh, very... Mm, uh My fitness ball had a leak a few years ago and it's one of the major uh, fitness tracking apps in the world. So... Strava. Strava also, yeah. Yeah. So yes, uh, Strava, Strava is good uh, because uh, they say, Strava, Garmin, they say they don't uh, uh, sell your data. They say so. In their privacy policy, this is what is written. I don't know if this is true, okay? And the, uh, the issue is that uh, some, uh, someone else can grab that data and do what they want. But uh, people don't know. Um, uh, so sometimes uh, uh, they uh, are not able to connect the dots. Okay. And you, if you see my data, I, I have um, a heart uh, belt, uh, I don't know the exact name. Uh, so Okay, and so uh, uh, I can see my heart rate uh, 
uh, during the, the race uh, and so I can uh, say okay that I can I have to run uh, slower than uh, run faster and so you can adjust that kind of uh, uh, pace uh, according to your effort uh, but that they does uh, if uh, if it's stolen uh, it can be sold to uh, some kind of artificial intelligence that analyze data of a white man coming from Italy, 15, and, and, and keep them together and sell this kind of data to insurance uh, or that kind of people interested in making a, a insurance to white people, <laughs> 15, coming from Italy. Profiling, Profiling. yeah. yeah. The, and this kind of uh, danger, um, I, I don't know. I don't know why people doesn't recognize it. It's a problem. Doesn't recognize it at all. Uh, it's easy. Uh, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the first problem. Um, but uh, after Snowden, uh, you can sell whatever, whatever. People don't care at all. So. <laughs> They, 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 uh, they try to forget uh, it's a kind of uh, uh, self-care. Uh, okay, th don't, don't bore me with that kind of bad news. I don't want to hear. Uh, so, question of... What kind of gadgets uh, can we use with the uh, activity tracker for uh, Ubuntu Touch? Kind of uh, gadgets for uh, earth gadgets uh, earth like monitoring and uh, other stuff. Gadgets you use with the app. Uh, gadgets, uh, you don't need the gadgets. Uh, only your phone. Only your phone. Uh, I use a, a Garmin too. Uh, this is a activity tracker, but uh, it's not connected to the internet, so I can upload my data to my computer and that's it, okay? You can uh, connect uh, your, um, your phone with uh, this watch, but you don't have to. Uh, data on the watch are uh, uh, saved in a, a kind of a XML uh, file, and so it's uh, very simple to upload uh, to Tartar Spot and use over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I used uh, the Garmin only because uh, I, the armband was heavy. Uh, it's very um, uncomfortable. And so I used that uh, for uh, a year or so. And uh, then I switched to the the watch only because it's uh, lighter and it's uh, easier to start and go. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not connected to the internet. Okay. I can plug a cable, USB cable, to my laptop uh, and upload the data to the computer. That's it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for coming.